All right, number 11, we have an open box that's being constructed from a sheet of 10 that measures uh, 26 by 16. We're going to be cutting out squares from each corner as shown and then folding up the sides. VX is going to denote the resulting box. So step one, we want to write uh, VX as a product of linear factors. So we have this diagram and we're going to be cutting out the squares and then folding them to make a box. So they're all the same, the, the dimensions of the squares and the corners are all the same. So what we're given is that the width is 16, so that's from end to end, but you're going to be taking out two sides of x, so minus 2x and then the width or the length is 26 but you're also taking out two sides of x from this side so minus 2x so <clears throat> when you fold this up you're going to have this like box top. Okay. Like an open box. Okay. And you're going to be putting that as a lid. So what you have is that this side is the 16 minus 2x. This side is the 26 minus 2x. And then you have the height of the box, which is represented by the X, which you cut out and fold it. So um, writing this as a product, we get all of these multiplied together as a linear factor. So just 16 minus 2X, 26 minus 2X, and then times X. So let's type that in. And the order in which you put these do not matter. Um, and now part two, um, it says assume um, the values for x for which v of x is equal to zero. Um, which of them are possible? Not assume, among the values where it equals zero. Which ones are possible? Okay, so we're going to set each of these equal to zero. So we have x equals zero. And then we have 16 minus 2x equals zero. And then 26 minus 2x equals zero. So we're going to solve all of these. <clears throat> um, if we add 2x, we get 16 equal 2x and then divide by 2 that's going to give us 8 equals x and then here if we um, add 2x we get 26 equals 2x and then divide by 2 we get 13 equals x so all of these are the values that we get now which one could we do so we could take this box and we could take away zero from each side and that would be okay. Um, we can take this box and if we took eight that would be 16 so we would have just a long piece but we wouldn't have any width. Um, but this so this whole side would be zero like we wouldn't have any width we just have like a long we could do that because that side would be zero. This side would still have some measurement. The only one we couldn't really do is 13 because if I did um, 2 times 13, I would be subtracting 26, and this would give us some negative value, uh, negative 10, and we, we can't have a negative dimension. So this one cannot work at all. Um, these are possible, but this seems very weird that you would cut... Um, 
like the whole side off, like it wouldn't even have a side left. So, um, but only ones are physical possible are eight and zero. So we're gonna do zero and eight. 